Hello everyone, or no one. Today we're going to go through all my top VS Code extensions. I've been using VS Code since the start of my coding journey and I've picked up and thrown away a whole bunch of extensions along the way. So here are the must-haves as well as a few others that I like to play with. So to start off with number one, I'm going to go pretty simple, which is GitHub Copilot. I think every single developer that I know uses this these days. I don't know anyone that doesn't or some form of a copilot. And this comes from me in these two extensions. So the GitHub Copilot is, of course, the code companion. So or maybe I could start with GitHub Copilot chat, which is the other one. So I can ask it directly here, say, create the toSum function. And it'll work kind of like a chat GPT and just put the function straight into my code. So I can see here, this looks pretty good for a toSum. Um, I think I can ask it different things. So let's say with a hash map instead of a map. See if that works. And there we go. This also works perfectly with TypeScript. I can't see any blaring issues straight off the bat, but perhaps there is, but it looks pretty good. So I'm just going to accept it. And that's pretty much how that works. The other one is Copilot by itself, which as you can see has already suggested something. So if I press tab, that comes into my code. Let's say I wanted to create the function for three sum, and then it should, if I just keep pressing tab, oops, three sum equals, and now you can see it's thinking, sometimes it takes a bit, then I press tab and all this code appears out of thin air. Now, I usually wouldn't do it for a huge block of code like this because sometimes it creates bugs that are little small things and they're hard to see or it creates inefficient code. But for this simple example, I'm just going to accept this. So that's Copilot, number one. Or number two, I'm going to be talking about ES, React, Redux, React Native, blah, 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 snippets. It basically lets you create code uh, code snippets very quickly. So one I usually use is R-A-F-C-E, which you might have seen in my other videos, which creates this. And maybe if I call this something meaningful, it, it'll make more sense. So it basically does the thing you're doing a million times in React, just creating the function for a component. There's a few other small ones like CLG, does a console log, so I can say hello here. Um, ignore the errors, it's, this is just a TS file. Let me make this TSX. And I, of course, have to import React, which it did. So if I just do RAFCE, you see it imports React, but I, I don't have React installed in this package. There's a whole bunch of snippets that I don't usually use. Honestly, RAFC is the one I use more than anything. And for React Native, there's something similar. I think it's RNFE, if I'm not wrong. Yes, this is what I used in React Native. There are some other ones like Redux, Slice even creates the whole slice for you. Or reducers, and all this good stuff. So just stuff that you're going to type a million times over and over again across your code bases. If you remember these commands, they're super useful to speed things up. And there's a few others that I would say are pretty much essential when you're working in a team, like ESLint, Pretty much every team that I've worked with has used ESLint to sort of solidify a bunch of rules in your code base so everyone's working with the same set of rules. So your code doesn't diverge across 10 different developers or 100 different developers. Similarly with Prettier, I think nearly everyone on planet Earth uses this to format their code on JavaScript. So if I was to just you know, add a whole bunch of spaces somewhere, like this, uh, I could just put a whole bunch of spaces. I could space this out down here like crazy, and this is annoying me. Like so, as soon as I press save, everything gets beautifully formatted. There's a file you can create called prettier config, and it, or dot prettier rc, I think it's called, and it has all the rules so that everyone across your team, some people might be putting these uh, semicolons, some people won't. But as soon as you save, all the rules are put in place and everyone has to use the same format. And there is this one here, Material Icon Theme. 
So when I have folders, I like these little icons because otherwise they're just going to be gray folders across your whole project. When you have more and more things, it's nice to see things separated like so. So I know there's a few different ones of these icon themes. I think material icon is one of the biggest ones and it's just very easy to differ differentiate what everything is. Which then leads us to our third package, which I call basically essential, which is Sonar Lint. This works a little bit like ES Lint, but it's just rules that in general should be obeyed no matter what your coding project is. So I can try and get some rules to come up here. Let's, for example, say, oh, I might switch while through. And you can see in here, Sonar Lint is throwing an error already empty block statement. So you should never have just an empty switch statement like this. If I put in something console log hello, the empty block will go away. And I'm pretty sure it should tell me off for doing this. I'm not sure why it's not. But I think everything below this will be considered unreachable code. So I'm going to try and do something else in here. Let's do a switch statement. So let k equals uh, 1. So I'll do a switch for k. And then I'm going to let Copilot write something for me. You should see here everything is unreachable code from TypeScript, but even unreachable code from Sonar Lint. So if you're not using TypeScript, it, it will throw you these errors as well. Um, another thing, let's just remove this, is if you forget to put a break statement, I have a feeling it will tell me off. End this switch with an unconditional break, continue, return, or throw a statement. So it's just a whole bunch of little rules that should be obeyed in general coding because um, they're basically mistakes. So I would recommend getting this Sonar Lint. No matter who's on your team, it'll just make you a better developer. And if anyone was curious about my theme, I use GitHub Purple just because it looks like GitHub and I'm always on GitHub making PRs. So. Looks very familiar. So that's it for my top three. There were a few other ones in there that I think are pretty much essential, but let me know in the comments if you use any that are really useful. I obviously have a few others that are conditional, for example, the Docker extension if I'm using Docker, but this is a video purely about React. So let me know down below what you like to use and whether I should be using something else because I'm always learning.